Hello bro, so welcome to Aspect Zero, Bro Fly Production, and next part, Sakura Succubus 3. So, let's jump into where we left off last time. Now, oh, both of them uh, fighting for my attention, apparently. Alright. Hiroki. Hiroki. Uh, things sure are escalating fast. I guess it's uh, expected given these girls are succubi, but still, will it kill them to give me a bit of time to prepare my heart? H hey, time out you guys, I, it's really getting late, so, so if we could just settle this uh, score another day then? No, we can't, we're going to settle it now. Who can uh, make you feel better, Hazel or I? We need to figure that out this instant. It's a competition. <laughs> this sounds like fun. Let's give it a go. Well, I'm sure the night wouldn't have ended there uh, if it had been the patch version. That's for sure. Later that night, it caught off with Ayu and Hei, so I have a dream. It's a very gentle dream of a nostalgic variety. It's a dream of something that happened to me once, but <coughs> once more than a decade ago in my final year of high school. There was a girl in my class called Yuki. She was a transfer student and she didn't have any friends. Though she was pretty and good at academics, she was cold and icy and kept everybody at a distance, myself included. A few guys tried to ask her out, but they were roundly reacted. I never thought I had a chance with her, so I never even contemplated the idea. Time passed as I never spoke to you, she soon faded from my mind. That is at least uh, until I received a letter from her in my shoe locker. Meet me on the roof of the school. I have something very important I need to discuss with you from Yuki. A letter had been written in a neat, elegant script. The character seemed feminine enough, but I had my doubts. Would you could really send me such a letter? It seemed unlikely. There was no way the real Yuki, that icy princess, would ever want to talk to me off to school. I must have been set up by the rest of my classmates. I was certain it was one big elaborate prank. That's what I told myself, but I went to the school roof regardless. I was curious. I admit my heart was pounding pretty hard at the time. I kept telling myself what if, but I <coughs> knew I was being silly. There was no way it was really her. But it was. Yeah, this time we actually got to see her. <laughs> I guess considering we saw her in the end of the last uh, Sakura, we would actually get to see her face now. She actually has the face of a shy but uh, unstable schoolgirl, I would say. Alright, let's keep reading. She was waiting for me on the roof of the school. She turned to me, her dark hair fluttering in the breeze, and said, I've been waiting for you. I have something very important I want to tell you, Hiroki. I... I love you. I was utterly astonished, as you might expect, I never imagined Yuki would say such a thing to me. Of all people, it was impossible. It must have been a dream. But though I pinched myself, I didn't wake up. Yuki's white alabaster face didn't waver. She had written uh, me the letter and she had confessed to me. We had exchanged less than five words in the past, but she was being sincere. She loved me. I knew little about you, Kay, and I doubt she knew much uh, about me. We've <coughs> been in the same class for most of the year, but we were relatively strangers. Like everybody else, I had avoided her. If she had ever stared at me longingly, I never noticed. I never thought she loved me. I was wrong. Mm. 
I accepted her confession as a wait. Damn it. Well, I forgot that actually kind of where we are supposed to save. Though that is five minutes, and that's very short. Ah, to the hell with it. Let's keep reading. I uh, accidentally kept reading anyway, so. I accepted her confession as she kissed me. After that, we started going out. She was my first girlfriend, and I thought I didn't know much about love. I did uh, care about her a great deal. I thought we could stay together for a long time. But there's something else I was wrong about. I haven't seen her in years. I wonder what she's doing now. Was she able to find happiness like I have? If so, I'd be pleased for her. She was a little girl, and she seemed to find it hard to make friends. I wouldn't want her to be lonely. Now that's strange. Why am I thinking about Yuki at a time like this? The next morning. Beep, beep, beep. Uh. I pulled uh, out of my slumber by a familiar tiny beeping uh, of my alarm clock. I get up stretching a shot uh, of the hateful device before it uh, can make my headache worse than it al is already. I feel even more tired than usual. I must have gone to bed late last night. Statues of my previous evening return to me in bits and pieces as I try to shake off my sleepiness. I, you and Hazel came over, didn't they? They were camped out in front of the TV for a while, arguing over the channel. They had a bit of a fight, which then descended into a competition to curry my favor. One thing led to another, and then, well, it's no wonder I felt, uh, feel so tired. Uh, on. it's hard being popular, but I doubt this is a problem many men would uh, sympathize with. In fact, I'm sure most of men would kill me if they knew how lucky I am. I do wonder where Ayu and Hazel are now, though. Maybe they left already. They stayed with my pretty late last night. I feel a bit bad about making them go home on their own. I'm not sure if the streets are safe for a couple of women. Well, they're suckily, so yeah, I think anyone that would have attacked them would really regret it afterwards. If they're still alive, that is. But well, it's not like Hazel and I are ordinary women. They're both suckers. And they have incredible powers. Not to mention amazing strength. I'm sure they'll be fine. At least I hope they are. I should text them to see if they are right. Would that be overbearing? Yeah. It's more like I'm their father. It's uh, with these thoughts in mind that I exit my room and still in my box. Uh, and still in my box of shorts. I mean to have a shower uh, then pull on my clothes. But I stop when I pass by the cramped kitchen. It's not empty after all. And that's where we're gonna save. <laughs> I know, it's uh, not very long. I mean, two pictures in eight uh, minutes. I mean, that's... Uh, <coughs> it's really... Uh, really... <laughs> unusual for the Sakura game. But, I mean, if they ke can keep it going all the way to the end, I'm uh, say they really undid themselves this time. So I need, that was all I have for Sakura Sokobus 3 this time, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!